Tonight, take two minutes to learn the five things you need to do before and the five things during a home fire to get out alive. It happens fast. Fire out of control within minutes. Researchers say your time to get out alive is growing shorter, from 17 minutes in the 1980s to just three minutes today. Now you have these new materials out there in the market and they're made up more of polycarbons or plastics. Today's carpets, couches, drapes, all synthetic. We watched a controlled house fire by United Laboratories with veteran Auburn firefighter Glenn Johnson. Yeah, everything gets moving quickly. The fire starts by lighting a pillow. Once it hits the ceiling, it's going to do what's called a mushroom cloud. Just three and a half minutes in, the couch is ablaze. They burn a lot warmer and they also produce a lot more black smoke. So hotter and faster. Yes, hotter and faster. At four and a half minutes, the room completely lost. The fire really spreads quickly. It creates that black smoke. It's very hazardous to the body. You choke on it. You can't breathe. Back inside, wow. this is all that remains, completely charred. That stresses the importance of smoke detectors. The National Fire Protection Association, headquartered in Quincy, says synthetic upholstered furniture is among the first things to ignite in houses. Your couch filled with polyurethane foam, what fire safety experts call foam gasoline. What do you do before a fire? Smoke alarms in and outside of every bedroom and every level. Map two exits for every room. Practice family fire drills monthly. Designate a meeting space and close before you doze. Closing your bedroom door before bed can give you life-saving minutes. The door closed and the door opened. That door potentially could give you an extra 10 minutes. During a fire, how do you survive? Block the smoke by closing windows and doors. Check doors for smoke and heat, a sign that fire is on the other side. Go low, crawling to evacuate as smoke rises. Exit windows wisely, crawling out facing the house, and then drop down. And don't go back in. Just as you check your smoke detectors twice a year, check your fire extinguisher. And do you even know how to use it? A recent study found that most people don't. And like smoke detectors, fire extinguishers have a life expectancy. Karen Hensel, NBC10 Boston.